Weapons Possession Lawyer Andrew Stango The most common weapons possession charges in New York involve knives and guns. However, virtually any object can lead to weapons possession charges if the object is allegedly possessed with a criminal intent to use it against another person. Many weapons possession related charges in New York are categorized as violent felony offense, which carry a significant mandatory minimum prison sentence. Criminal possession of a weapon may be charged in the first, second, third, or fourth degree, depending on the specific facts of the case. In New York, the fourth degree crime is a misdemeanor, while the other three degrees of weapon possession charges are felonies. Criminal possession of a weapon in the fourth degree. In New York, criminal possession of a weapon in the fourth degree is a class A misdemeanor, which is punished by up to one year in jail and is charged in one of two circumstances. First, if the weapon is listed as a per se weapon in the law. Second, if a person has the intent to use any weapon unlawfully against another person. A person will be charged with a per se weapon in New York when he or she possesses any of the following. A gravity knife, stun gun, switchblade, blackjack, or plastic or metal knuckles, to name only a few that are listed in the law. Gravity Knives in New York Gravity knives are one of the most controversial items on the per se list that trigger the charge of criminal possession of a weapon in the fourth degree and even in third degree. A gravity knife is a knife that opens through the force of gravity or the application or centrifugal force which opens and locks the blade in place, usually by flicking one's wrist. If a person is charged with possessing a gravity knife in New York and the person has a prior conviction of a crime in any state, a prosecutor may bump up the charge to criminal possession of a weapon in the third degree, which is a felony. In fact, a person who has had a prior conviction in any state for any crime who is found in possession of a per se weapon may be charged with a felony. Criminal possession of a firearm pursuant to the SAFE Act of 2013 Possession of an unlicensed and unregistered firearm is a Class E felony known as criminal possession of a firearm. Possession of a loaded firearm is treated as a more serious crime in New York. Criminal possession of a weapon in the third degree covers a wide range of circumstances. Some are Class D felonies while others fall into the more serious classification of a Class D violent felony. In New York, a Class D violent felony carries a mandatory minimum prison sentence of two years for a first felony conviction. Criminal possession of a weapon in the third degree is charged when a person possesses a number of weapons, such as a bomb or explosive, an assault weapon, firearm silencer, a magazine that holds more than 10 rounds, to name a few circumstances. Criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. The law prohibits possessing a loaded firearm outside of one's home or place of business. The crime is a Class C violent felony and carries a mandatory minimum prison sentence of three and a half years for a first felony offense and a maximum of up to 15 years in prison for a first felony conviction. A person may also be charged with criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree if he or she possesses more than five firearms possesses a firearm with intent to use it unlawfully against another, possesses a machine gun, or possesses a loaded firearm or disguised gun. Criminal possession of a weapon in the first degree. A person may be charged with the crime if they possesses 10 or more firearms or possesses an explosive substance with the intent to use it unlawfully. The crime is a class B violent felony and carries a mandatory minimum prison sentence of five years for a first felony offense and a maximum of up to 25 years in prison for a first felony conviction. New York City Weapon Laws New York City Knife Laws In New York City, it is illegal and to possess in public a knife with a blade that is at least four inches long. It is also illegal to hold a knife in open view, regardless of blade length and whether or not the blade is exposed. The law also prohibits wearing a knife outside of one's clothing in a public place. There are, however, several exceptions in the law for certain professions, occupations, and hobbies. 
The New York City knife law is a violation, not a crime. The maximum penalty, assuming no other charges, is a $300 fine, 15 days in jail, or both. Search issues involving weapons in New York. In most cases, a weapon is discovered as the result of a search of a person, car, or one's home. The federal and state constitutions do not allow the police to search arbitrarily. To conduct a search of a person, law enforcement must have at least a reasonable suspicion that the person has committed or is about to commit a crime with a weapon. In many cases, police must have a search warrant to enter and search a home. In New York, when an arrest is based on a weapon recovered during a search, a defendant is entitled to a hearing before trial, called a MAP hearing, which could result in the suppression of the weapon as evidence at a trial. As a former prosecutor and current criminal defense attorney in New York, Andrew Stengel has aggressively and skillfully handled hundreds of alleged weapon possession cases, from firearms to knives and from misdemeanors to violent felonies. Visit the website of Andrew Stengel for more information, stengellaw.com, or send an email to info at stengellaw.com. Attorney Advertising. Prior results do not guarantee a similar outcome.